Alright, hey guys, I got my Battleship Gate again, and now we're going to be trying the only thing this will actually work for if you have only the American games, which is Battle Network 4. We're going to be trying to access the Operation Battles. So let's go ahead and get to that. This is Battle Network 4 Blue Moon, USA version. Um, is there anything else I need to say about this? Nope. There's a stamp in there. You can't really see it, but there's a stamp in the actual film itself to show that it's an authentic copy. Oh, no, forget it. I'm not going to bother to show you that. It's going to take way too long. Anyway, let's go ahead and throw this in the old Game Boy Player. Put in our Battleship Gate. And now we should be able to hopefully unlock what this uh, Navi chip from my last video actually does. The Mega Man Navi chip. Let's go ahead and start it up. Menu and it says Operation Battles. So this is a new secret thing that's been locked for everyone who had the American version of the game. The only way to unlock it is to plug in your battleship gate. So, alright, it's plugged in. It's on processing connection. Please give me a moment. Operation Insert Navi Chip to transmit. Here's our Navi Chip. Go ahead and slide it in. It says Mega Man. Training networks. We can duel it out over friends. That's awesome. That means if you have two friends with two of these battleship gates, we can use the link port and actually fight in this mode using real bat navi chips. That's going to be cool. I will definitely have to see if I can get you guys a video on that. I can't wait. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Practice mode. All right, battle one start. All right, so this is actually this looks like it's the precursor of a battle or 4.5. You actually have to tell him how he wants to do it. So, um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to tell him to evade Gutsman for now. So we'll use get out of row. What should I use? Uh, wait for a chip. We're going to say, okay, hold on. Basically, there's three different things. Use a Mega Buster means he'll shoot at him, plink down his health. Uh, use a shield means he'll block his attacks. Wait for a chip means he'll just wait on our command and send us to him a chip. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, wait for a chip. All right, let's use Red Sun. Oh, sorry. All right, let's go ahead and start out with a Japanese chip. Just to show you that it's still not region locked. Very nice. All right, now let's hit him with a boomerang. Nice. Now let's finish him the only way we know how, using a Giga Chip. All right, you get your ship, slot in. And you hit the wrong panel, Mega Man. Nice job. That would have been the perfect way to finish it. All right, fine, let's go to, can we change the uh, battle mode? Nope, we can't change this operation, which is kind of weird. I'm pushing all the buttons I possibly can, and none of them are actually changing the way he behaves, so. It looks like we're stuck with that. All right, let's go with Neo Variable. All right, that was our last use of that. It did a good amount of damage. So let's hit him with a bubbler. Battleship in. Download. All right. What other trips do we have? Where's our Battleship Gate? Oh, let's hit him with this. I'm sure he'll enjoy this. Hey, Gutsman. Have a taste of your own medicine. Come on, really? Can we use it again? Really? If he's apparently if he's unavailable to use the chip, he just loses it. Which is kind of silly in my opinion. Don't need recovery. Why sword wound? And he just wastes the chips again. So this is very pre Battle or 4.5. This is I guess where the very idea came from. Because you can see the AI for the friendly AI is not great. So high cannon, this should finish him. And there you go. Alright, so that's the first fight. Alright, let's see if we can finish it with a Giga Chip this time. Alright, we're going to do chase the enemy. And I bump this controller thing again. Chase the enemy. Uh, and we'll say use Mega Buster. For example. Alright, and... Oh, so we have to wait. 
This is our red sun. Right, here we go. And he, of course he uses it in the panel he's currently in. So there is some strategy to it. Uh, they won't always set themselves up for the perfect attack. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Here, use Wide Sword. Perfect. So for some of the ships, they can set themselves up for, but for anything that freezes the screen, uh, you're going to have a little bit of problems. So. Alright, Neo Variable. Alright, and... Blinder for the multi-hits. Wait until he does something fancy, and... Go! Very close. I'm just knocking everything on the floor now. Boomerang! Really? He's going to end up finishing with his Mega Buster. Let's just do Spreader. Nice. This is when the Battleship Gate would actually come in really handy if you just had all these things loaded up. You're just like, okay, what's my next chip? Just push it forwards and it pops out. But I've used a whole bunch of chips, so I don't really have much left in my folder. I'm going to in my uh, magazine. Where are the rest of my chips? Okay. I'm going to chase the enemy. Use a Mega Buster. But we're going to wait. Let's grab some chips from my library. And we'll go through these. See if we got anything good. Area Steel. Lightning, I think we need something on the ground for that. Barrier, attack with 10, and spreader again. So, yeah, nothing super really good. So this is, you'll have to plan a little bit ahead of time, say, okay, this is one we'll use first, this is one we'll use second. Another barrier, high cannon, both of Okay, here we go, here are some good chips. All right, so set it up, uh, use Mega Buster. First chip we're gonna use, wide shot two. Oh, great. Alright, attack two, go. Alright, there we go. And we can use it up to three times still. So, we'll let Mega Man take care of that. I'm not pushing... See, both my hands are here, so I'm not pushing anything. He's kind of taking care of it. Next thing we're going to use is Vulcan 2. Wait for the balls to clear. Hit it. Alright, Mega Man, you're not very good at your job. This definitely you just got some improvements before 4.5 came out. All right, M cannon. Wait for him to do something. Go. All right, you clear. Nice. All right. Again, this is just like battle with 4.5. Oh, here we go. If you use the touch the joystick, you can change. Uh, or sorry, the D pad will be on the game uh, Game Boy Advance. You can change it. So you use shield. Not a good idea. All right, hit down again. Down as you change uh, the type. Chase the enemy. Up lets you change what um, strategy you're going to use. Left and right don't. Left and right let you choose what row to stay in. So we want to stay in the back row to give him more time. And let's hit him with a. Oops. Muramasa. Should do some work. First thing we're going to do is move him to the front row. Wait for Number Man to do his thing, and then Muramasa will be it. Go! Oh! Great. Can we really use this more than once? Probably not. Alright, now I guess we will do... High Cannon, wait for the field to clear. Go. So much for Chase the enemy. Hit another M Cannon. This is starting to get a little bit ridiculous. You really have to actually plan ahead of time for it in order to make this work. Wide shot. You read that wrong. I read it as tornado. There we go. I think we already used up this chip. Yep, it's used up. Alright. Standard cannon, just get some damage in. Mm 
Alright. This would be a really good time for Rock Cube if I could find mine. But as you see, my chips are not organized at all, so I guess it kind of makes it a little bit more realistic for the show where you actually have to plan ahead of time. Oh, here we go, and now these chips. And apparently he's dying, so here, Proto Man, please, please just help this guy out. There we go. And now these chips can maybe use multiple times. Nope. This poor kid. Alright, go. Communication error. Oh. If you bump the receiver, cancels the battle. That's kind of... Disappointing. Alright, but as you can see, I have way too many chips and they're not organized. But it should definitely be interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. But you gotta take a little look into the um, operation battle. It's a really nice mode that was locked to pretty much everyone in America unless you import this battleship gate. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you, sorry that I kept dropping chips all over the place, but it's a limited space as you can see, and I have quite a few chips. So yeah, uh, definitely buy one of these. I'll have a link in the description where you can order them for pretty cheap and fight. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.